One of the most effective ways to improve a person or a group's internet defense is to harden their web browsing practices. Web browsing is one of the most common forms of online interaction. Web browsing is also one of the most common areas of compromise, loss, and even heartbreak. Every experienced security professional has dealt with web compromise. For example, I have helped people who have experienced misbehaving computers, identity theft, loss of privacy, loss from their banking accounts, and loss of health, all due to compromise of the web browser. Effectively hardening the web browsing environment requires three types of action. The web users must be aware of the threat. The web users must improve their web browsing behavior. And the web browser must be properly configured and hardened. One of the most effective and important duties of a security professional is to be a source of useful, reliable information. Your awareness and education program must be upbeat and positive. The most important message that you can project is that defense is normal, expected, and effective. You can't glorify attack. If you wish to improve your environment, you must communicate how properly managed defensive measures improve people's lives. When web users understand the benefits of better browsing, they'll make permanent changes to their browsing behaviors. So, you can't just say, Bob made a mistake and then suffered loss. Tell people instead that Bob, Carol, Ted, and Alice were all attacked in the same way. Three of them had effective defenses, one did not. And then explain the de defenses. Once your web users have a realistic understanding of their situation and their choices, they will understand that good web practices benefit themselves. My current approach to improving the web browsing configuration is to configure two web browsers. One of the web browsers is hardened for use on untrusted sites. The other web browser is permissive for use on trusted sites. And I usually make the choice clear to users by renaming or coloring the shortcuts and the links. The user must always know if they are in trusted or untrusted web mode. I usually harden Chrome. I then teach the user to use the hardened browser for general purpose and recreational web browsing. I usually set up Firefox for trusted browsing. I then teach the user to use to only use the trusted browser on trusted sites. Of course, if you wish to try this, the choice of web browsers is up to you. You may prefer to harden Firefox, Edge, Safari, Opera, whatever is your preferred hardened browser. When I harden Chrome, I make these specific changes. Under Settings, Advanced Privacy, I disable all but protect from dangerous sites and do not track. In Settings, Advanced Privacy Content, I set four things. Keep local data only until you quit your browser. Block third-party cookies and site data. Block sites from running Flash. That's the important one. Do not allow recently closed sites to finish sending and receiving data. And then I unset open PDF files in the default PDF viewer application. Under Settings, Advanced Passwords and Forms, I unclick two things, enable autofill and offer to save passwords. In settings advanced downloads, I set a non-obvious download location, something like a temp or a junk folder. And then I click ask where to save each file before downloading. Finally, I install a couple browser extensions, an auto ad blocking extension, currently I'm using Microblock Origin, and I install a privacy extension.
Currently I'm using EFF Privacy Badger. When I set up Firefox for trusted browsing, I make a few common sense changes. Under Settings slash General, I click Always Ask Me Where to Save Files. In Settings slash Privacy, I set History to Never Remember History. In the Location Bar Suggestions, I only enable bookmarks. In Settings slash Security, I don't remember logins or use a master password. And finally, under Settings slash Advanced slash Data Choices, I unclick all three options. That is, I unclick Health Report, Share Additional, and Crash Reporter. You can make a difference. Improved web browsing ultimately makes life easier for yourself and for everybody around you. Good luck. I'm pulling for you. Remember, we're all in this together.